More than 150 Israeli soldiers, including active duty soldiers and reserve officers, have signed a letter stating that they will refuse to serve unless the government prioritizes a hostage deal to secure the release of Israelis held captive by Hamas in Gaza. The letter, addressed to Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and other government officials, expresses growing frustration and a sense of betrayal amongst the soldiers, who believe the government has not done enough to secure the hostages' release. The soldiers, citing moral concerns and a sense of duty to their captured comrades, are prepared to face the consequences of their actions and risk their military careers to bring attention to this cause. What are the motivations and concerns of Israeli soldiers who are refusing to serve without a hostage deal? They argue that the government's current approach is not prioritizing the hostages' safe return and that a change in strategy, specifically a deal to secure their release, is urgently needed. The soldiers express a strong sense of duty and commitment to defending their country and rescuing the hostages. They highlight their willingness to risk their lives in service, having participated in intense fighting and operations in Gaza. However, they now feel that the government is failing in its responsibility to protect the hostages. They cite instances where potential deals were abandoned and point to the fact that IDF bombings have killed more hostages than have been rescued in military operations. This perceived failure has led to a crisis of confidence in the state and the army. The soldiers feel morally conflicted about continuing to serve when they believe the government is not doing everything possible to bring the hostages home. One female officer who has been heavily involved in the conflict expresses a sense of disillusionment. She initially felt a strong sense of purpose and righteousness in her mission, but as negotiations faltered, she began to question the government's commitment to the hostages' return. The soldiers believe that taking a stand, even if it means refusing to serve, is necessary to bring attention to the plight of the hostages and pressure the government to prioritize their release. They draw parallels to historical figures who made difficult choices for what they believed in, emphasizing the importance of taking action even when it is unpopular. The soldiers acknowledge the potential consequences of their decision, including penalties to their salary or service record. However, they are resolute in their belief that prioritizing the lives of the hostages outweighs any personal risks.